Look at the size of him. Today we've come out to the little creek way out in the middle of nowhere where I caught that big lobster in the last video but it got way too hot and I couldn't hang around. But there's only one problem. Look where I'm standing. I'm actually standing right in the middle of the hole where I caught that big lobster. And it's absolutely bone dry. Look, there are, the abbeys have been trying to dig into the bedrock here. Looks like one's been successful. We've had wild pigs in here getting the moist, trying to get the moisture. And I think those wild pigs are actually digging up mussels because I've seen a few mussel shells and I've seen some big yabbies being crushed along here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go for a walk down this creek and oh, check that out straight up. That's a good sign. Big massive claw sitting up there. I'd say the birds got that one. I know there is a big hole about 200 meters up here. So we've got, I've brung two traps with me. I don't want to bring all the gear down straight up. If I can find this hole down here, if it's still got water in it, um, what we'll do is I'll come back down here, I'll bring the esky, um, bring the fishing rod and everything, but I'm just going to bring a couple of traps down for now. Yes. So I've come down about 200 metres and I've found this water hole and it actually looks pretty good. I can see there's heaps of little fish in this little creek way along here and they're decent sized fish too. And the water looks good. If that water was really clear, I'd probably be worried, but it's really murky looking. So it's a pretty good sign that there's gonna be something in here. And look how overgrown it is. Have a look at that. So we'll just have a bit of a look how far this hole runs down here. I'll just have to be a bit careful. Look where I'm walking. I'll show you the habitat. Absolute beautiful spot. It actually clears up up here. Yeah, that hole runs all the way down. Looks like a fairly decent hole actually. And another one a little bit further on. So it's about eight in the morning. What I'll do is I'll get these couple of traps in so they get plenty of time to soak. I've got a bit of bullock liver in there for bait, so I've got really good bait. Uh, we can't blame the bait today. And I'll shoot back and we'll grab the rods, or I'll grab a rod, and see if we can jag a fish or something too. So I finally made it back. It's actually been probably a good hour. I end up getting sidetracked and going for a bit of a wander way down the creek there and just having a bit of a gander around. And this is the best looking hole along here. I'm um, seeing some little fish action. So what I've done, I'll give you a look. I've got a bobber out there in the water and I've only got a little bit of liver on the hook. But when I was here last time, way back down there, I had a big bit of meat on the hook and they did have a go at it, so. And what I'm thinking, I'll just keep moving that around because I reckon they'll be hanging around in the school somewhere. And I did notice quite a bit of action back there where it narrows right up. So we may even go back there. I've actually decided to come up into this narrow neck. And I just threw my bobber out there and I didn't realise I didn't have my camera on. Got a hit almost instantly. I will see if they're going to hang around. I think there's something having a go at it, but they're actually having a go at the bobber, not the meat. I might have to set it a bit shallower, set the bait a bit shallower, I think. Oh, something's picked it up there now. And they're swimming towards me. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, it's a big yabby. Oh, and I missed him. Oh, that was, that was a monster yabby. We'll sit it back out there. He'll come back for that, you watch. Oh, there's yabbies in here for sure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this bobber, uh, this meat, a lot shallower because I can see this fish having a go at the bobber. But I'd say that the meat's sitting a bit deep. 
and the yabbies are grabbing it. I thought that was a yabby, that one. I could see him moving around. Look at him go. <laughs> He's not letting go of the meat, though. Bring him up and have a look at him. I'm nearly thinking I might even keep that fella. Well, if I'm getting them like this on the lines, I'm pretty sure those two traps are going to have some decent yabbies in them. And I really want to get one of these fish, so we'll throw him back over there. I might even go out a bit further where it might be a bit deeper. Go out there. So I'll give up on them little fish. I think they're just too small, so I'll put a big bit of liver on there. We're going to cast that rod out. <laughs> And see if we can't jag a few decent yabbies. And I can almost guarantee you what's going to happen. There's going to be a decent sized fish is going to come along and grab that meat. You watch. And I knew that would happen. I had the camera off. I had this big chunk of meat on there and something big come along and grabbed it. So I've taken the big chunk of meat off and hopefully they're still hanging around there. He felt like he was hooked up. Um, and he wasn't something small and he's having to go up the rod again. So I'll throw you back on the head. Oh, I've got him on now, I've got him on now, you beauty! Finally got one to see what the hell they are anyway. I think they're just, that's just a really dark spangled perch. And I'm going to keep him. We're going to have him on the barbie, I think. I'll throw a bit of water in this esky. <laughs> Finally got one. I'll give up on them. I thought, bugger, I'll get some yabbies. And what happens? A, a fish bites the line. We'll get it back out here because there was something a lot bigger than that. And I'd say it's just a bigger spangled perch, but we'll try and bag a bigger one. Oh, that was a good bite. Hopefully that one comes back and takes it. I've got him. You beauty, another one. I'll take that, get him over the esky. There's going to be some bigger ones in here, I know it. I think it paid off coming back to this spot. We'll get this bait back out here and we'll just try and see if we can't jag one just a little bit bigger. And I'm only going right off the edge here. And it's not taking them long. There's another one hammering it already. Almost instantly. Got another one. Oh, he feels a bit bigger this time. Yes, you beauty! Oh, what is it? It's not a car, it's a carp! You little bloody bugger! <laughs> oh, I thought I had a bloody beauty spangled perch and it's a carp. That's got me buggered how carp get all the way up here. There's no real main waterway for miles and miles. How the heck do they get in here? It's definitely a little carp, I'll show you. Look. 100% little European carp. And I'd say them bigger fish that I've been getting bites would be bigger carp, I'd say. So what we'll do, I'll get this carp off the rod. We've got a couple of little perch there. We're going to have them on the barbecue and we're going to check these traps. And I reckon they're probably going to do all right because I've left them a bit longer than what I thought. They've been probably two hours now, I'd say. I've got my esky here ready. I'm pretty confident we're going to get something in the traps. I've got a bit of grass in there. You know, two little perch are in there. But we'll get these traps in and see how we went. And it's pretty bloody... Oh my goodness me, I can see them in there. You beauty. Oh my God. You little ripper. Look at that. Absolute trap full. And some nice ones too. I'll let them out here close to the water again, as I normally do. There's a couple in there that I can see that are coming with me. I'll just let half out. That one there is an absolute beauty. So is that one. Oh, oh, and he's nearly got me. We'll put him in there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Them ones there are making their way to the water. There's a couple of big fellas in here I will keep. And surprisingly, doesn't look like any with eggs. 
And I haven't seen a lot with eggs this season for some reason. I don't know why. Don't know whether they've already had their eggs and moved on or what, but I'll take four out of that trap. Took four and let eight go. We'll sit them down there so they they know they all know where they're going. They're heading back pretty quick. And there's quite a few of these little water bugs in here. You couldn't have asked much better in that trap. We've got four really good ones in there and a couple of perch. Just looking at this tree, check it out. This ironbark tree here, overhanging us. Look how exposed the roots are. They've all been washed out. It won't be too long until he falls down. You wouldn't think this last little water hole, and if we don't get rain in the next few weeks, this is going to dry up, I reckon. The yabbies will be right, because they'll burrow down into the mud. It'll clean the carp up anyway. So we'll get this other trap in. Watching out for the sliveries in here. I reckon this one's probably going to do better. It's down in the narrow neck. Oh, and I'd say so. There's a bit of weight in that one. Oh, bloody hell. It's definitely done better. 100%. Oh, my goodness. Man, now that's a trap full. Two, three, four. About 25. And they're all good sized yabbies, too. And I didn't want to tip them up there because the grass is that long. I can't get anywhere near the bank, so I've brought them up here to the end where I was uh, fishing originally. Give you a look. It's a really clear bank, so they'll be able to get back quick. I reckon I'll probably only keep another four out of here, and that'll do me for today. Eight's plenty. Look at them all. Trap's absolutely crawling with them. And there must have been someone underneath the trap too because they've pulled the bait underneath. Look at that. Absolute haul. Some good size fellas too. He would have been a good keeper, but one of his nippers is broken. I'll take that one. And I'll just randomly pick them because they're all fairly even. Fairly uniform size. I'll take that one. Three. Look at these fellas getting back. They're straight back in there. These ones here are heading the wrong way. So we'll take him. There's a couple of really nice ones left in the trap here. Have a go at that fella. That is a nice one. Absolute beauty. Well, that was a pretty successful trap. End up with 37 out of the two traps on the first pull. We're going to pull them up now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back. There's another dam on the way back, which I haven't been to for years and years. Um, I've tried a few dams around this creek and I've done no good. So I'm sort of surprised there's a lot in this creek. We'll head back to that dam and we'll might as well give it a go now we're out here. So we've made it back to this other dam. I'll give you a bit of a look. Absolutely beautiful looking spot. Absolutely perfect looking spot. It's got everything going for it. Except I'm not getting any hits on the rod yet. It's only been out for a couple of minutes. And I'm not very hopeful because it's not too far. Or when I say not too far, it's probably about 10 kilometres as the crow flies, which isn't too far out here. From that dam with all them little water beetles, and I didn't get a single hit. Um, and I'm seeing little water beetles in this dam. So I'm not completely hopeful that we're going to get a yabby on here, but I've got the rod out. I'll give you a look. And I've actually got one of them little fish heads on there for bait. So I'll bring you over here and give you a look what we've got going on over here. It looks bloody good over here, I can tell you. We've got some of our yabbies. And I've got these fish cleaned up. All I've done is scaled them, um, gutted them, took the heads off, and put some score marks in them. And I've got the pan heating up here. It should be getting pretty hot now. I'm going to save all the nippers. That's the nippers off these fellas. Because... We've still got some candidates in the bucket, but I'm not going to fit them all on. So I'm going to cook the fish and these few yabbies here for a bit of an appetizer. And then we'll go on to the big fellas. So what we're going to do today, 
I reckon I'll put these fish on first. Just a bit of garlic on them. Sprinkle a bit of garlic. Get it all in there. That wind's bloody horrible. And what I've bought is some chili paste. What I'll do is I'll get a nice big bit of that out and I'll smother that all over it. And throw a bit of that all on them yabbies too. So what I'll do is I'll just rub this chili paste in, make sure it gets in all them slots. Once I'm satisfied she's all nice and smothered up, we'll sit them in that hot oil. Look at that, absolutely lovely. We get all them done. Oh, that smells nice. What we'll do, we'll wander over here and check this rod while that's simmering away there. Nah. Oh, there's a little fish having a go at that. I've just seen it. There's also a lot of water beaters. I don't know if you can see them in the water there. If you have a look closely down in here, you can see them. I'll try and scare one right there, see? And as I bring this bait up, you can see the water beetles. Look at them hang hanging off there. That's what I'm talking about. How many's on there? Five or six. I'll stop, try and hold it still. Look at them all. They're just absolutely hammering it. But I did see a little fish have a go at that, so there's obviously spangled perch in here as well. We'll get it back out there. We'll just hope that a yabby bites on it. And that's almost what I predicted was going to happen at this dam. That's why I didn't bother coming here. I don't know what it is, them water beetles, but they're voracious little buggers. But we'll leave it out there. I did see a spangled perch have a go at that on the way up. We better check our food. I got carried away over there. It's going to be definitely cooked anyway. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. We'll give them about one more minute, I reckon. Just make them well and truly overdone. <laughs> I just wanted to give them fish a couple of extra minutes. And I can probably tell by the way the smoke's flying off there that they're almost done. <laughs> they're starting to fall apart, so a pretty good sign. Oh, this looks bloody good. Check this out. Oh, that looks absolutely bloody perfect to me. We'll get a nice big chunk of this meat off here. Look at it, it's just peeling away. We'll have a go at our fish first. Perfectly cooked. Mmm. Absolutely perfect. You can get that chilli all through there. We'll get one of these yabbies out and have a go at it. And that yabby tail just peeled out of there just like it really wanted to come out. And we'll have a crack at it. Mmm. Oh, there's a good mouthful there. I reckon them yabbies are probably better than the fish today. What the heck is that? Have a look at that. That's them water beetles hammering me line. Look at it. They're like piranhas. I seen something over here having to go where my line was. There's about 200 of them water beetles there was someone in the comments uh, on my last video saying they were like little piranhas and you're dead right. I forget um, who it was now. I probably should have a look, but have a go at it. That's why there's no yabbies in here. I'll see if I can bring them up without scaring them off too much. I was over there enjoying me bloody feed. I seen me line going off. I thought I better come over and have a look. And have a go at the water beetles on there, see if I can bring them up. Without too many of them falling off. Oh, they all fell off. Look at them all. And that's not even a quarter of what was on there. They've just about stripped that head bare of meat. If I didn't see that, I wouldn't believe it. And that's why I'm not getting any yabbies. They are, they're like little piranhas. And they're back on the head there already. They're just swarming it. So I'm going to th throw these other ones on the barbie. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one.